It's November the 25th. It's in the year 2032. And I'm speaking to, what is your name? Ryan. Hi, Ryan. How old are you? 10. What year were you born? 2022. You told me earlier that your parents both went to Duke University. Is that correct? <laughs> so, uh, what year did they start at Duke? Uh, 2012. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, you also told me they took a course in uh, environmental science? Yeah, yeah, it was like a um, human domination of the world. Or something like that. domination of the universe or people dominating the world or something like that. You know? uh -huh. Do you know who the teacher was? Uh, I think it was like Dr. Reynolds. Yeah, yeah, average Joe. Some average Joe, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, first question I have to ask you is that why are you wearing a Tar Hill shirt if both your parents went to Duke? I was born at UNC Hospital. They put UNC genetics in every baby. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> so that makes you a Tar Hill, huh? Mm -hmm. So how do your parents like that? talk about it. Oh, you don't, It's huh? mostly the average uh, reaction. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's that book that you were showing me earlier? Oh, it's a book that my mom and dad were talking about a couple of days ago. What's it called? Storms of My Grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And they, this is the book they used in their class. You know, and what did they tell you about the world today? Like, for example, that cheetah behind you. You put that picture up there. Poor little guy. How These come? These are replicas of in extinct animals, on, or almost extinct. The cheetah, once native to Africa. The panda, which is not extinct yet, but pretty cool guy. Yeah. What, do you know why? The, both the cheetah and the panda are only found in zoos? Because, no? um, well, people just tore down their habitats for stupid strip malls. But also they had to grow food though, right? Well, yeah. Yeah, because of the big population. Mm -hmm. And then there's also the buffalo, or bison, which used to be an old American symbol, I think less than a hundred. And then there's the green sea turtle which is long extinct after it was knocked out of its habitat by boats. And Bunches too, of them got too many boats and rotors to the shells and rotors to the heads and rotors to the flippers. Mm -hmm. and... Stuff like that, huh? Mm -hmm. Ryan, where do you live? I live in Zamboni, Alaska. Zamboni, Alaska, huh? What's the weather like? Uh, it's a kind of really mediocre, warm. Warm, huh? Doesn't did, really get that cold. So, did it used to snow up there? Yeah, uh, there was pictures of snow a couple of years ago, like ten or twenty. Uh huh. And and my and what about and glaciers and things like that? Oh, those. Are, yeah. Um, <laughs> do you know what a glacier is? Uh, yeah, it's a big floating piece of ice. Mm hmm. Right. <laughs> but well, but have you seen any yourself? No, but my cousin or grandpa went went up to Alaska in the year 2000 and saw some glaciers and some snow and stuff like that. But do you ever go fishing? No, uh, uh, there's not really any fish anymore. The water's too warm. Really? Fish. All the fish have gone to colder places. Mm-hmm. Do you ever do any ice skating? There's no ice. Far up north is, is Zamboni in uh, Alaska. Kind of near Anchorage. So that's the southern part of Alaska. Is there ice up in the northern part? No, not really. In terms of living in Zamboni, what's the uh, environment like? It's kind of weird because like, there's not really any forests left because every once in a while just like the fire randomly starts from all the dryness. And... Does it rain much anymore? No, pretty much everywhere is just desert. And it goes foosh! <laughs> Because everything's so dry. Uh -huh. It's like throwing pine needles into a fire. Mm -hmm. It just goes... And it starts spreading everywhere. 
Except the fire department's kind of used to it. They have like a little, they have fire stations at the edge of every forest with a helipad. Uh -huh. So they can just go, boosh. What's the air quality like? Because of all the fires? Air quality. Is it? It's kind of, it's kind of gross. It stuffs you up a lot. Yeah. Does it, is it unhealthy? Uh, kind of, yeah. So Ryan, in the this last couple of questions I have for you, that that book that you you have there, why were your parents showing you that book? Well, it was they said it was like like the author of this book. It was kind of a warning by that guy, you know, uh -huh. like trying to warn people don't keep polluting the air, and they were like, oh no, we haven't, and they just kept on doing it, and yeah, it's kind of annoying. So what do your parents think about all this? Uh, well, they kind of wish they had done a little bit more. Obviously, they did something, but a little bit more would have helped. What did they do? Uh, they tried to educate people and all that. It could have been worse than it actually is, but, I mean, they did what they had to. <laughs> but it sounds like they're still trying very hard. Mm-hmm. And they, because they're teaching you all of these things as well since they showed you that book and are talking to you about it. Yeah, and yeah, I think it's going to get a little bit better, you know, mm -hmm. as the so, years go on. So your generation, are you optimistic about the future? Mm, kind of. Not mm -hmm. really, but kind of. <laughs> Why do you say not really? Eh, it just seems like a lot to clean up. Think you can do it? Yeah, I, I, I think I can eh, try. Good. Well, I'm I'm proud of you for that. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> they just have little robots running around breaking each other. No pretty kidding. interesting. Everyone is so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, son of a bitch, bitch, son of a bitch, bitch, son of a bitch, 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 bitch